Our friend Hard Knocks Forge is doing a giveaway for 250 subscribers. He's almost there. I think he's at like 232 or something like that. But he's doing a giveaway once he reaches 250. He's giving away a nice gear wrench set of sockets and, you know, socket wrench, all that good stuff. So here's my entry for the giveaway. Let's go over here to the box, <coughs> and we'll go through it. I don't have any Zima. Tall boys will have to do. Good stuff. All right, we'll start from the top. So this is the toolbox tour. I know I don't have any snap-on epic or anything like that, but it'll be all right. <coughs> all right, so I have right here my Innova voltmeter. I use this thing all the time. It does, I mean, even it, it even does a battery load test. All that good stuff, so that's a good thing. I've got a code reader for my truck which is a 93 f-150 or a ford obd1 reader this thing's useful if you don't want to sit there and count how many times the check engine light flashes because that who's got time for that i've got a gauge right here that tells you different bolt sizes measurements nail sizes um uh, all sorts of good information so that that's good to have harbor freight 40 piece uh, hose clamp set you know you, you can use a hose clamp for anything they're not the greatest but hey I've used them plenty of times I keep a Leatherman in here Let's see if I can do it one-handed I keep a Leatherman. Uh, you never know when you might need implements like that. You know, it's good to grab and throw on if you need it. You never know, you might have a screwdriver or a pair of pliers or something like that that you need. I've got a set of uh, sockets for my impact. These, I believe I got these from Home Depot. Uh, these are all standard, and they got little magnets in them. Very useful. I have a digital dial caliper, but my batteries are dead. I actually have that for reloading, but I use it for a bunch of other stuff too. Chalk line, chalk included. It's always good to have one of those for drawing a line quick and easy just snap it two jaw puller uh, husky so the big box store brand uh, I've had to use it so it's good got your tire tube puncher thing so you can plug tires got some valve stems um, the little tool is in one of these trays we'll get to in a minute. Um, tape measure. Got to have a tape measure. Invaluable. And I keep some different brushes and stuff like that. There's brass and nylon brushes and stuff like that. Alright, so. Move this junk out of the way. Now that I'm going to. I was all organized. It's one thing about this giveaway, it made me collect all my tools and actually put them all up. Now I'm just going to destroy them. So, thanks Hard Knocks. I appreciate that. So, socket drivers for uh, the impact drill. Bought those a couple videos back. Harbor Freight. 
I keep a little bit of super glue, various earplugs because earplugs are good if you don't want to die of death. There's that little tool for valve stems and stuff like that, cleaning them out, removing the, the inner core of them, all that good stuff, cleaning the threads. That's a useful tool to have too. Uh, I've got you know various caps in there just that I've collected. Here's a random 3/8 impact driver. <coughs> I've got a key for a drill and I've got a universal Ryobi key because I do have a, a I do have an electric drill that I didn't have a key for, so I ended up buying that. And uh, because this one wasn't working, I needed a bigger one. This, I believe I got from AutoZone, spark plug gapper. I've had this, I've had this for years and years. A little China thing, you can see I've kind of galled it up. But, hey, it, it'll it gap them. Um, spot weld cutter. That's good on the drill. You know, it's, you know, it goes down like that. So, good for cutting spot welds. Um, I use that on the Firebird to cut out the spot welds for the floor pan. A little telescopic magnet. It's not very strong, but it works in a pinch. <laughs> I've got a, a punch in here. And I've got an automatic center punch right here. This is from Harbor Freight as well. So far it hasn't worked that great, but I've only used it a couple of times. There's a step bit. I've got a handful of them floating around the shop. Cotter pins. Cotter pins are always good. I fixed my clutch with a cotter pin because it kept popping off. So let's put all that junk back. And the other drawers will go faster. But I got a bunch of little stuff up in the top. <coughs> I got different... Uh, rasp and stuff like that for the um, air ratchet whatever you call it that one I've used just playing around I've got another one also got the stone got an itty bitty clamp I think I got that for Christmas from mama two itty bitty clamps that is filler gauge because when you're setting gaps on valves and uh, there's all sorts of uses for a feeler gauge. Um, OEM, I don't remember where I got this. Uh, there's no telling. Different bits and stuff. You know, there's you see a bunch of them in there. I got a bunch of different bits. There's another grinding stone. All right, well that that takes care of the top. By the way, this is a craft, craftsman box, one of three toolboxes in my shop. But this is my main one. So in my first drawer, I've got screwdrivers and a chisel. This, I, I, I think I got this from my stepdad a long time ago, marples. I don't know. But I've used it quite a bit. Um, got a shitty set of Harbor Freight screwdrivers. This one, you know, I ended up using it for something and I think I tapped on it and this thing just kept going down and down and down and down. I think originally it was like out to there. So that's a pretty shitty set of screwdrivers, but they were cheap. Uh, you know, you got all different sizes, um, including a great big one. I do have a yellow handled different brand that I use as a pry bar a lot, but I can't find it, so I don't know where it is. This right here, it's got tons of bits and stuff in it. I've probably had this little workforce screwdriver for, gosh, 
20 years, 25 years almost. Um, you know, I, I've used it. I've used the crap out of it. And I've still got it. still works. It's ratcheting, even though I don't use the ratcheting too much. Uh, let's see, what is this? This is a Craftsman screwdriver, flathead. <laughs> it's in there with the with the stuff. <clears throat> I've got this this little contraption. So this is this is all bendy. You can bend it either any way you want. It's kind of a pain in the ass to use, but it goes in that ratcheting handle right there. And then I got this little floppy guy. I never thought I would use this until I had to adjust the carburetor on my wife's uh, ATV. And this was actually useful. But it's floppy. It's fun to play with more than it is to use. Alright, well that takes care of the screw. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot. I got something hidden under here. There you go. $5 Harbor Freight spark plug tester. That thing's useful too. Especially for 5 bucks. Forgot about that. All right, pliers. I have a set, the orange handle, Harbor Freight. Uh, these are not the greatest pliers in the world. Um, you know, I, I don't really have a whole lot to say about them except for they're, they're not the greatest. This pair of needle nose, I have no idea what kind it is, but I've had them forever and they've been pretty trusty as well as this pair of channel locks I've had forever. Again, had them for 15, 20 years, still using them. These, the cutting ones, and actually, I had a pair of lineman flyers, but they must be up at the house. These don't cut worth a shit. So, again, this is the Harbor Freight stuff. Got a pair of MIG pliers, but I don't know if you can see it, but there's a gap right at the end, so they're not really that useful. They're about worn out. Wire cutters, crimpers, these things, they're not the greatest, but they're, they're heavier duty than the, the cheap, cheap kind. Again, I've had these for years. Couldn't tell you where I got them from, but I have used the crap out of them uh, so much that they won't even cut wire anymore, but they crimp good. Spark plug boot puller. This thing is useful for those hard to reach spark plugs. Um, this OEM brand, I believe. Probably got them at a, a parts store, something like that. This OEM snap ring pliers, these are the shittiest tool I have. I've tried to use these plenty of times. They, it even comes with the different attachments for the different angles and all that kind of crap. But these things aggravate the shit out of me. You know, change them out. It's, it's spring loaded. You push on that and you flip that little thing up and the whole little head part comes off. So that's my vote for the shittiest tool that I've bought. I regret not buying a real set of snap ring pliers. All right, on to the first big drawer. All right, so first thing, big crescent wrench, because big tools, big tools are good. I've got a set of 22 piece Pittsburgh wrenches, SAE, and magic. And it doesn't hold on to them very well, apparently. But so far, I've kept the set together. I have a regular hammer, a BFH. This thing, you can put some force behind it when you really need to move stuff. Got a two sets of 
those are tractor supply ratcheting wrenches those are useful I've used those quite a bit and then I've got a bunch of random wrenches in here there's allied mech power another mech power mech power super drop forge crescent wrench mech power there's a craftsman 10 millimeter that's pretty invaluable there's another craftsman 10 millimeter a little longer um, 10 millimeter seems to be pretty common there is the shittiest Chinese brand you can probably find 9 16 uh, actually it's made in India but it says it's forged it must be good right there's another one that's a same little three eighths. A couple more Craftsman's, eleven thirty seconds and seven millimeter. Another shitty Indian five five sixteenths. There's a Craftsman crescent wrench, eight inch. Another Mech Power Craftsman three quarter inch, three quarter Mech Power. That's an old one. Challenge, 9 sixteenths. Or a challenger, I mean. 9 sixteenths. That's an old one right there. And then I've got this big, this big one right here, which is 24 millimeter. Again, I'm not sure where I got it, but it looks old and pretty beat up. It's Chinese, but that's what it is. <laughs> I've never used these, but I've always kept them in there. Again, not sure where they came from, but if you got a nut that size and you you got no space to get to, get to it, I'm sure they can be useful. So there you go. That's all my wrenches and hammers. Now, let me find my chair. All right, in the little middle box. I keep some gloves. Um, I've got gloves all over the shop. There's a little set of, uh, they're like two bucks at Harbor Freight, a bunch of crappy brushes. But I've used them quite a bit. They're only a couple bucks. I got that heavy duty. I, I, I just leave it here so I don't lose it. There's a quarter. That is bent. Not quite sure how it got bent, but it's been sitting here for a while. I've got a box of uh, rubber gloves. Again, Harbor Freight. Don't use them a whole lot, but they're good when I do. I keep a mess of napkins because you never know when you got to blow your nose or. You know, you accidentally poop yourself or something like that. You got to wipe. You never know. It happens. I have in here Pittsburgh Pro um, 3 8 torque wrench. I've used it quite a bit um, on a bunch of different stuff, actually. But it came in this nice blow molded case. Um, keeps it protected. So I keep that back there. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> the recording cut off. <clears throat> so here's all my sockets and all that kind of stuff. This this set right here came with uh, that Stanley toolbox over there. I moved to this one because it was a little bigger, but I've got most of the sockets and I've had this for probably five six years and I'm only missing a few the screwdriver I don't really care about I've got this little cheap no-name Chinese uh, quarter-inch ratchet I mean it works fine it's not the greatest um, I still got the Stanley ratchet that came in it you know I've, I've used this quite a bit you know, it's got a little 3 8 to quarter inch adapter. 
I've got some extra stuff in here like this spark plug Taiwan doesn't even have a name brand on it uh, 13 16 spark plug socket you know it, it, it's a socket set it works so over here to the right I've got uh, what is this this is Ampro another another 3 8 socket wrench um, I've got this one which is great neck Chinese it's got the little finger gnarls on it again another not the greatest but it's 3 8 and it works I've used it quite a bit uh, let's see what's next I have a husky so it's got a nice change in directions and the quick release and the direction uh, change in directions is one big button that's kind of cool um, hadn't used this one a whole lot but you know I've got it in case I do need it um, half inch Pittsburgh ratchet because I didn't have any half inch I didn't have any half inch stuff so got this probably about a year ago I've used it quite a bit along with those along with the, the Pittsburgh I got the two let's see Pittsburgh half inch drive 10 piece impact sockets six point SAE and the other one is metric as well as 12 points same thing Pittsburgh uh, 12 points for the half inch drive SAE and metric as well as well as the little 99 cent half inch uh, organizers from Harbor Freight I'm a home mechanic I putts around so there's quite a bit of Harbor Freight stuff alright next drawer alright so I've got this little scraper I got it at a parts store Mm, about a year and a half, two years ago, using it a lot on the Firebird to scrape out all the seam sealer and all that kind of crap. I've got this tool right here that Uncle B got me a couple years ago. Um, it came with two of them, and basically that's one big long razor blade. And I believe it is a cobalt. It's a cobalt brand. But this is good for cutting hose and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's sharp. It works. This little arm right here will fold down and away, giving you just a blade if you want to cut stuff. Uh, Harbor Freight zip ties. They're not the greatest, but they hold stuff together. Just don't leave them in the sun or they'll crack and not work anymore. Back here, I've got different star bits. Um, I think I used these on my old truck to remove the bed. I think that's why I ended up buying them. Probably, I don't even remember what brand they are. It's hard to read, but I think I got these from, uh, Home Depot or something like that. And this I got, obviously, at, uh, AutoZone or Advance or whatever. It sells Duralast. 3H Drive T55 Star Bit. In this, I keep <coughs> in this little basket. I keep. I got a you know a half inch impact so, uh, extension, a long three eighths extension, about a twelve inch, a long quarter inch extension, and then I've got different other extensions in there. There's a you know a couple three eighths, a couple half inch, half inch impact. There's a half inch wobble I mean yeah half inch wobble which I don't like using these but you have to sometimes you just can't help it so there's you know three eighths this is actually a snap-on one of the few snap-on tools I do have this one is snap-on and uh, 
I've used it quite a bit as well. I think, my, I, think I got that from my father-in-law. Then there's half inch to um, three eighths uh, impact, whatever you call that damn thing. And this accepts bits, but this is one of those open backed ratchet uh, sockets, which I've got a bunch of them in this drawer. So this is those, you know, pass through little socket wrench thing, which I had over there on focus on the roller right there, the tube roller. See the socket hanging off of it? Basically, that's all I've ever used that for. So as well, this is kind of like the catch-all of, of sockets and stuff like that. You know, I've got random stuff in here like. This is a little quarter inch, five sixteenths. Uh, got this big honking snap on. Oh, look, there's another snap on. That's a snap on uh, seven eighths deep well, 12 point. I've got a set of the Pittsburgh three eighths impact deep well, six point. Uh, I think I've got standard and metric in those, which whatever I've kept up with over the past couple of years. There's a Stanley 1132 in that. Hey, look at that. 11 th no, I had two of those somehow. Two 1132s. I don't know how I got another Stanley, but whatever. All right, so yeah, that's my random socket catcher. I keep electrical tape, you know, doing electrical stuff. I've got I've got two grades of electrical tape. I've got the Harbor Freight crap, and then I've got the good stuff. You know, usually there's some scotch, some 3M, and uh, commercial electric, extreme temperature. So... You know, th this stuff is, n is not good to use on something that you don't ever plan to mess with again. But something like this, the Scott's stuff, will work good. Um, just some regular, like, masking tape. My dad works for Heavy Machines, so he left me that. I've got uh, uh, PTFE tape thread seal tape because you know when you're doing plumbing and stuff like that you need to you need to seal the threads and then I've got in here and I never use this thing but it's a little <coughs> I think oh wait it's that set for uh it's this little Chinese quarter inch it's the set that this came out of. But it's got a bunch of little sockets in it. Even a little add-on uh, 3 8 neural thing that you could use if you wanted to. It's missing a couple sockets. Like I said, this thing never gets used, but it's got a it's got quite a bit of sockets if you needed it in a pinch. As well as an extension and I don't know if that's that's a tiny spark plug socket. What is that? Five eighths, sixteen millimeter. That's tiny. But it does have another extension in it as well. That's cool. All right. So now. We're moving on to the last part of this toolbox. Hopefully I haven't bored you guys too much. See the big Craftsman logo on the box, I like that. So down here, I've only got a couple of things. One, I keep my Dremel down here. Now I've had this Black & Decker Dremel for, geez, another one I've had for probably 20 years. But 
you know, it's got the little extension and everything like that. Variable speed. This thing's awesome. I love it. I've used it so many times. And it's got this little kit. You know, it's got all the different bits and stuff like that that I've had. Uh, different cutoff discs, which... Actually, there's, there's one left. Good thing I bought some more. And that actually goes on it, but whatever. Little wrench that came with it. Still got it. Somehow I managed not to lose it. Don't know how. But that's my Dremel. I've used the crap out of that Dremel. And then the other thing that I have down here is this big husky thing. Again, Home Depot, Lowe's, whoever sells Husky, I forget. But this kit has air tools in it. So we got the air hammer, which I've used more than I thought I would use. Um, the impact, it, it lacks some balls, but it gets the job done. Uh, die grinder works good and air ratchet the die grinder I haven't used a whole lot I've used a little bit um, again there's no clutch on this air ratchet so this thing kind of sucks to use like I try to take the starter off my truck and you know you hit you hit it and if it ain't gonna move the bolt it's gonna move you Grr. that sucks especially when you're in a tight space and you bust your freaking knuckle and I mean this this <laughs> this case blow molded case is so nice. It comes with different sockets, comes with the two wrenches, comes with some uh, air hammer bits, some stuff for the die grinder, some some different sockets and stuff like that. But there's one problem. They even they, they even give you the the uh, bits to hook it to the air compressor and all that stuff, and the tape. To seal it off but there's one problem they didn't blow the case and provision those so I had to take my Dremel when I first got this and I had to cut out all of these tools <laughs> and that one you know goes out the side but hey what are you gonna do you know I had to cut that little tunnel out and that's the only way you could get <laughs> I, I, I don't know what engineering decision that was when they were blow molding that case that they wouldn't make provisions for that but is what it is easily resolved a little messy but it works all right well let me get this stuff put up and we'll wrap it up be back in a second <coughs> So before I go, one other thing I forgot to mention that I keep on the side here is this rigid uh, impact and our impact driver and you know hammer hammer drill. These things, it's it's the version before the brushless. Got them on sale. Got a heck of a deal. I think I paid 200 bucks for both of those. Um, 18 volt. Those things are awesome. I use the crap out of these. Alright, well. One last thing I forgot. My favorite tool. I said my shittiest tool. My favorite tool is the lift right behind the toolbox. That thing is awesome to have. Well, guys, that's the toolbox tour. Hope you enjoyed it. I didn't think it'd take that long. But then again, watching some of the other entries and stuff like that, that it's uh, <laughs> it takes a while to go through them all and do a good tour and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the toolbox tour. Again, uh, Hard Knocks Forge is doing a 250 sub giveaway, and this is my entry. So... I will encourage you guys to check him out. Also, 
Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you later on Chaos Garage.